All right, TAC TV fans, me and the crew have been invited over here by Arsenal Firearms to Gardonia Valtrumpia, which is this particular valley in Italy. 95% or more of the entire Italian firearms industry is in this valley, including world famous makers such as Beretta and Benelli. We're here to check out some of the cool Arsenal firearms. Make sure you stay tuned for more coming your way. All right, TAC TV fans, we're here at Magno, Italy. We're gonna take a look at the Arsenal Firearms Manufacturing Facility. This is where they make the Strike One pistol and the double-barreled, one-of-a-kind 1911, known as the 2011. We're here to check it out from start to finish. TAC TV fans, I'm here with the founders and owners of Arsenal Firearms, our good friend, Dmitry Strasinski, his wife, Susanna, Nicola Bandini, and they're gonna take us through how Arsenal got started and the current lineup of products. Now, if you guys would kick it up, how did Arsenal come to be? Well, it all started at the, uh, Nilipol in Paris. Uh, that was in 2009. A friend of mine asked me to display some miniatures. So I've been discovered by Nicola Bandini, who was at the time uh, writing for multiple uh, gun magazines and uh, we click up instantly. Then uh, we start discussing uh, possible creation of the real gun manufacturing company. Almost instantly happened. Now how did you guys end up making it here in this valley? This very historic Italian gun making valley, how did it end up being here? You have incredible cooperation among, among professional people here. The response is immediate and, and people are extremely professional. Historically, Nicola is Italian, he, he knows everybody here, uh, so he introduced uh, us to Tanfolio. It became naturally a place where we decided to, uh, to start it. This is probably the only place in the world within five kilometers of this building you could get every single part, accessory, Absolutely. everything Correct. you Correct. need for that. Anything. And people are friendly and uh, really, really it would well, have to be the only place in the world, I would think. Now, which one started first? The double barrel? We already started uh, uh, creating the companies, and uh, the idea was in 2010 that 2011 is coming, so it's 100 years of 1911, and that was the best uh, manifestation to show uh, people that what, what we can do from the engineering point of view. Uh, we have to admit, I mean, in the beginning, we did it as an intellectual exercise, mm -hmm. and we did not uh, honest to God, we did not plan to make any money with this. That was the eye catcher, yeah, no, no right. questions about it. That was the intellectual exercise. It was a tribute to the Colt 1911, but in no way we were uh, planning to make business out of it. Right. So now nobody's laughing anymore. Because uh, you know the comments we, we were hearing, I mean, th there were many, many uh, different comments. Doesn't make any sense, double barrel gun, uh, it doesn't have any tactical uh, usage. Uh, we, didn't, we never pretend it, it, it does. But uh, we have so many, so many orders on this gun. This is unbelievable. Well, you know, there's such a huge collector's market, and you know that from the miniatures yes. that it's kind of, you know, kind of fits. It, it fits with, with the miniatures, but with the big gun, the general uh, response because it's a very expensive gun. Well, for this money, I can buy uh, five uh, 1911s, uh, uh, no, no issues. But still, the, the pretty pretty big amount of people who want to buy this particular gun. Sure. And, and for us, it was a surprise and, and, and a very pleasant surprise, I have to say. Well, thanks for sitting down with me and going through how Arsenal Firearms came about and how these products uh, are going to be coming to the market. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.